We're making spaghetti on a truck. Ground beef. Meat sauce that we put in the crock pot. And this crock pot has a lid. And our noodles. And Mark's gonna make everything. In we use gloves in here so you don't have to keep washing your hands. So if you buy a pack of gloves, when you cook, you don't have to keep washing your hands. Go ahead and put it in the trash. Mars adding some seasoned salt and some pepper to the meat. Still has his one hand glove so he can knead the meat. And then we got to open the window for when he starts cooking. Get that meat all crunched up. Ready to be cooked. Smell that meat cooking. We gotta open the window so it don't get all stinking here. We always get the glass jars because we can put the grease in it when he's making the meat. And this is the pan that has a little spout thing on it. So he's able to dump it into the thing without having a strainer. Best part about that pan, a strainer. You kinda need two people for it so one can hold the thing. But he's done it by himself before and didn't make a mess. But it'd be bad to spill hot grease all over the truck. Now Mark's dumping the meat in. The crock pot that's warm with the spaghetti sauce in it. And he's gonna let that simmer and wipe the pan out and then we're gonna put the spaghetti noodles in there and then boil the spaghetti noodles. See the little lip on the pan? It works out. The rattle ends from the truck because the truck rattles. Mmm, spaghetti meat. Get yourself a big old gallon jug of water to put in the pan. We ran out, so we had to use some more of our bottled water. But we got another pack under the truck, so we're good. Got us some salt packets out of Love's. Stuff out of loose. Getting ready to put the noodles in. The noodles are next to you. Over there. Oh, we gotta wait for the water to boil. <laughs> Breaking up them noodles. Takes about 10 minutes for the pan to boil. And we put the lid on it so it boils better. I bought this table from Big Lots. It's like a um, kind of like a what do you call that thing? The little tables whenever you sit down in front of the TV. Except this one's wider. Gives you more counter space since we have the crock pot there. And this has a flipper flipper top is what I meant to say earlier. And we have it strapped down in case whenever we use the crock pot and we're driving down the road it, it hadn't spilt nothing out the top the rattle ends from the truck because the truck rattles mmm spaghetti meat mmm 
has the gauge set on 400 or had it when he had it in there boiling and the noodles are done now and he's going to take and scoop all the noodles out into the crock pot and stir up our spaghetti and then we'll just dump the water out the door it's just water gotta stir the noodles in still gotta put more in there but we stir it up in the crock pot we got this crock pot at walmart the lid just flips open but it's a lot easier doing it like this have all the meat and noodles in the bag and when we're done eating whatever we have we can just put the tie the bag up and put it in the refrigerator for leftovers or sometimes we'll put it in a ziploc bag in case a whole bus in it those are pretty thick bags dump the water in our no skid bottom bowl and then we always put the the pan up in the dash so it can cool down up there instead on the floor and then we'll take it into washing Ta -da! and then we got some parmesan romano cheese spaghetti on a truck mm. like and subscribe